Hey guys, it's Amanda. What's up? This video, okay, it's gonna be an outfits of the week. I know my last one was a little bit more vlog style. Like it was a vlog with some outfits, but this is literally like outfit, 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 okay? It's kind of almost a whole week, but also the outfits are a little bit scattered through the month. <laughs> I started filming this, I think a few weeks before finishing classes. So towards the end when it was really like hectic, which I'm honestly still in my exam period, so it's still hectic for me. But there were some days that I just could not film my outfits. I know a lot of you guys do wanna see more outfit videos and I'm thinking of doing a more structured version of this video where I show you my outfit through the day as well because I really only show what I'm wearing to school or like what I'm wearing in the morning. But if I'm going out at night, I usually do change. Yeah, as I mentioned, I'm in exam season, so I'm kind of stressed right now. I kind of have to be writing a paper right now, but instead we're here, okay? Anyway, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Like, you know what I'm saying? It is Wednesday night. I did not do my outfit this morning because let me tell you, I was just really prioritizing comfort this morning. Actually, it was cute, but honestly, I was like, I'll just film my outfit tonight. I'm actually going out tonight. I don't even know what I'm going to, but a friend of mine knows a DJ who is performing, having a set tonight. So I'm not even sure if it's outside or what the vibe is. It was raining all day today and now it's so nice. So I will have to put some sort of jacket or sweater on. But this is the fit as of right now. I'm wearing a very classic black tank top. I always wear this tank top. I also always do this kilt, especially for like a night out, layering it over pants because wearing a skirt is a commitment to be honest. And I'm never, I feel like I'm gonna be warm enough. I've yet to really have a skirt moment here in Copenhagen because it just has not been warm enough. And especially because I'm gonna be out late, I'm like, I'm not risking wearing a skirt and then being freezing cold. So I'm wearing these white pants under. And then I actually just got these shoes yesterday. I'll take them off to show you. They're by Vagabond. I am so happy. Like, are these not perfect? I'll definitely talk about these more in another video. I'm like feeling a little bit all over the place right now because I need to leave. Also be sporting these sunglasses. A little bit of a mishap with my normal Dior sunglasses. I actually left them when I was in Berlin and I thought I lost them, but they're literally being shipped back to me on Friday. Um, I left them in a Humana, <laughs> like at thrift store, obviously, but they were found and I'm getting them back, which feels fake. Also disregard whatever the hell is going on back here. But yeah, this is the fit. I'm thinking I'm gonna bring my distressed gray sweater for a couple of reasons. First, warmth, but second, the tones of black are not the same and the camera makes it way more obvious than it actually is, but it still really annoys me. Let me look in the mirror actually. I feel like I need to show you the outfit in the mirror so you can actually see what it looks like full length. But I think I'm gonna do this because I can put this into my bag really easily if it's not needed. But this is a full length view. The color of this wall, literally, I don't even wanna address it. But anyway, really comfortable. Also low key perfect for the weather. So cute. I'm also wearing a little anklet. I'm like waiting for this moment. That is tonight's outfit. I'm about to leave right now, walk to the subway, meet up with my friend, and then go out and hopefully have a good night. My shoe's falling off. I also hope I don't regret bringing my Telfar bag because it's obviously pretty big, but it's just the vibe, you know? If I'm wearing this gray, I need to incorporate some gray. Okay. Peace and love. I want to take a minute and thank Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes for anyone who loves learning and wants to further explore their creativity. I was initially drawn to Skillshare just because of the broad range of classes. You can literally try out anything from photography to finance to graphic design and there's no commitment with it, which is really nice, especially when I'm exploring something new creatively. I don't want to have any pressure on it at first at least and it's nice that Skillshare allows you to do the classes whenever you want there's no set schedule you can basically make the classes as intense as you want depending on how frequently you want to do them the first class that I did was Amanda Rachley's journaling class I'm the kind of person that will go off about journaling at any time I love journaling I've been journaling but I want it to be a little bit more intentional with the way that I journal because sometimes I just tend to do brain dumps, like huge brain dumps. And then I kind of just leave it at that. Amanda Rachley does have a few classes on Skillshare that you can take, but the one that I did was called Art Journaling for Self-Care. And I thoroughly enjoyed it. 
Journaling has been such a huge thing for me since being here in Copenhagen to ground me. And this journal is so special to me because it's really only touched Europe. Like I started it in the beginning of January and I swear I only wrote about Europe and my exchange in Copenhagen, whatever. And then now we're here. If you have a specific skill that you're trying to learn, Skillshare is the perfect place to start. My personal goal when joining Skillshare was just to be curious and honestly push myself to explore things that I wouldn't normally do. The platform is also so easy to navigate. All the classes are organized under categories. So it's very easy to find classes that interest you. And also Skillshare is ad free. So you don't have to worry about having to deal with that while you're in the zone. Since Skillshare is sponsoring this video, they are offering the first 1,000 people to click the link in my description a free month on Skillshare to try out something new, explore your creativity. But thank you again at Skillshare for sponsoring today's video and we're gonna get back into my outfits of the week. It's Monday today, it's actually a new week. It's May 23rd. I think the last time I recorded was a week and a half ago or two weeks ago now but i actually ended up going to berlin for a weekend i got so busy with school and i honestly just did not remember to film my outfits but it's a new week i'm starting off this week very fucking productive i actually woke up at six today and filmed an entire thrift haul before going to school which i'm about to do right now my bed is covered in all of the clothes from the thrift haul i was trying to do the try on clips but my camera was dying and I only have one battery for the camera that I'm using to film with and also I need to leave now for school. I've decided today that it's summer and I'll be wearing my summer outfits now, including this skirt. This is the first time I've worn a skirt, like a short skirt here in Copenhagen. When I was in Berlin, it was literally 30 degrees both days. So I'm just bringing that energy back to Copenhagen and regardless of the weather, I'm wearing a skirt, but it's actually like 17 today, so it's pretty warm. Anyways, let's just get into what I'm wearing on this Monday morning. You guys will see this skirt in my thrift haul. It's already posted, actually. I'll leave it linked below, but I thrifted it in Barcelona. It's very cute. It just has some white stitching on it. You know, I fold that through into this Adidas track jacket. I love this jacket. This is literally a wardrobe staple for me. It's the perfect piece for transitional outfits because it's not heavy like a jacket, but it still gives me something. And it's obviously so cute, especially with my Telfar because of the silver, like this moment from behind. And then under, I have a gray tank top just because, you know, coordinate with all of the gray. Also, it's so comfortable and just like an easy throw on piece for the hot weather. I'm like expecting it to be so hot out because it's so hot in my room right now. And then for shoes, I'm doing my globe shoes. Whenever I do a silver moment, I feel that these shoes just go really well. I'm like trying to get you to see them. Yeah, and then I have some higher white socks on. I'm gonna be wearing this crossbody and honestly do this up a little bit more. I love that the bag is bigger than my skirt. I <laughs> think it's longer than my skirt. But this is today's fit. Hopefully the weather stays this nice and tomorrow's outfit can be just as appropriate for hot weather. But I'm honestly feeling so good about this week. Like this is basically my last full week of school. I have so much to do. This is a very, I don't wanna say grind week, but this is a fucking grind week for me. Like last night I had a full meditation, journal reset. Like it's really going down this week for me and I already feel really good about it. Now I'm gonna go to school, meet up with a group for a project that honestly has not been touched in weeks. Like I'm kind of, I have no idea what to expect. And then I'm honestly trying to go to a fabric store later today because I need to buy fabric for the garment that I'm gonna be drafting and sewing for one of my classes. But yeah, I'm gonna leave now. I'm gonna put my AirPods the fuck in. I'm low key so hungry right now. I had oatmeal, but like at six. so starving it's 10 30 11 now and i'm gonna get a chipotle sandwich as soon as i get to kia oh my god vibes are right for this week so it is saturday afternoon i'm about to leave and go to the park i don't really have um a specific plan i'm kind of just gonna leave because it's sunny out and i know that there's a little vintage flea market situation going on downtown so i might go check that out Anyway, I'm gonna show you my outfit because I really wanna get the fuck outside. I'm doing a full neutral moment. Surprise, surprise. I'm also bringing a jacket just because I'm kind of planning on being out a little bit later today. You guys have seen me wear these pants so many times. These I thrifted. They're by the brand Zoopy. <laughs> like what? But I got them from Value Village. I'm wearing this little beige tank top and then I thrifted this throw over little top. And I don't know why I keep describing everything as a little. 
but I thrifted this top in Barcelona. This is a very realistic park outfit for me. And then I actually thrifted this jacket as well in Barcelona. It's by the brand Desigual. Desig I guess I will do that because I'm actually leaving now anyway. This is the jacket vibe when it gets colder at night. I'll just throw it on. I'm also just gonna like get my jacket good. As I said, I'm gonna leave because it's sunny outside and I'm missing the sun right now, but I will catch you guys later. I'm also obviously on my Dior shield gun glasses, but you just have to imagine what they look like. Honestly, I think a common theme for these outfits through the week is that they're so comfortable. <laughs> like I'm at school for how many hours? 8.30 till two. And then I'm gonna stay after and study. St but I'm not gonna study. I'm gonna stay after and edit. I'm sipping on this iced coffee, literally running out the door right now. Ooh. Okay, I promise like these will be less rushed. Today is just like, I need to fucking leave. I got new Air Forces when I was in Barcelona. They're already dirty, like I don't want to talk about it. But anyway, I'm gonna be wearing these today. This uh, top is from Value Village, but the brand is Lucky Brand. And then I have my Telfer bag, which is like my favorite bag for school. I'm also biking today, so I need like a little crossbody moment. And then I'm wearing this skirt, which is from obviously Value Village, but um, the brand is American Eagle. And I layered it over these white pants which I love. They're from Barcelona, baby, Humana Thrift. I'm also wearing this gray tank top under just because honestly, I kind of see myself going to the park later and just tanning. So I'm like, well, I'm not wearing a long sleeve at the park, boo. Anyway, I actually am acting like I have time to eat the oatmeal that's on the stove right now cooking. I need to go. That's the fit today, really comfy, cute. I think I'm also gonna bring my crew neck to just honestly throw over. Just in case I'm like kind of cold because I don't think it's warm enough yet to just wear this. Anyway, this necklace, which I've talked about, I think every single comment section of my video, I explain where this is from, but it's a vintage Thomas Sabo piece. I got the pendant off of Poshmark. And then these are my everyday rings. Like my jewelry will not change through this video, to be honest, at least my rings won't. So this is vintage. This is also vintage, vintage, but value village. This is fake as fuck. This is from Kensington Market in Toronto from like two years ago. This is Value Village. Stay tuned for tomorrow. Hopefully it's a little bit less rushed. I'm gonna eat my oatmeal in literally three seconds, chug my coffee, and then go to school. So, catch you guys tomorrow. It's Monday, by the way. It's Tuesday morning. I'm so late to the point where it doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> it's 8.30 right now. My class starts at 8.30. It takes me about 30 minutes to get to school. I'm not biking today. It's pretty cloudy out, but it's still warm. I'm like so beyond wearing a jacket at this point. Like if I don't wear a jacket for three days in a row, I'm never wearing one again. And also I just don't have a jacket that matches my outfit. So to be honest, my priority this morning was just making my iced coffee because I just bought this thermos yesterday, which I'm so excited about because I've been having to chug my iced coffee every morning before leaving for school because obviously I'm like making it in a cup at home and I'm not gonna bring it with me. So I'm gonna leisurely drink my iced coffee in the subway this morning and that's all I could think about. I'm wearing this green juicy sweater. I actually got this off of ThreadUp like a year ago. I did an online order. I have like a ThreadUp thrift haul if you wanna watch it. That's like an old video, kinda cute. But I'm obviously obsessed with the color. It's like my Kelly green. That's my favorite shade of green to wear, period. Honestly, I think Kelly green is my favorite color to wear. Under, I'm just wearing this tank top. This bra is not doing this in real life just cause it's so bright right now. It's kind of cute because it has like this lacy detail. This is the necklace that I will be wearing, okay? But this is the only necklace I can't put on with my nails. So I'm gonna have to get someone to help me at school. <laughs> I like show up late and ask for help to put my necklace on and disrupt the whole glass. This is honestly just from like Gap originally, but I thrifted it done up like this with the necklace, right? Cute. Or just done up all the way, which is what I'm gonna be doing when I walk to school. And then I thrifted these trilogens. If you've been watching my channel, you know, I thrifted these from Value Village. I got them for like $30. They're a men's jean, I'm pretty sure. They're definitely not the most like flattering jean, but I just don't think that um, flattering pants are my priority. <laughs> like, I think I actually wear the most unflattering pants all the time. And it's like the pocket on this just like brings like everything down. It's like not tight. And then can you guess what shoes? Air Forces, obviously. And then I'm wearing my Telfar bag. I'm gonna leave now. Like I'm literally acting like I don't have class today. Peace and love. I actually don't have class tomorrow, so we'll see what happens. It's literally pouring right now. It's supposed to rain every single day for the next week and a half, which will probably change. But like, you know, it's like, it's almost June. Where's the sun? Not really sure. 
but I'm gonna be showing you my outfit today. It's very, very casual, comfortable. I'm not going to class. I'm just going to Kia to do some work in like our fashion lab. And then I'm also gonna go to our silent study area, which is like my shit, like silent study library vibes are like my favorite place to do work. I just need no distractions. I'm just wearing this vintage sweater and then a white tank top underneath. Um, honestly, if I get hot, I'll just take off the sweater. My jeans are a visu. I literally will only wear these jeans with a red or white top. I love these jeans. I got them off of Grail probably two years ago now. Since it's raining, I'm gonna be wearing a raincoat. This raincoat is from Oaken Fort. I got it like, honestly, four years ago. It's not too oversized, so I can't really wear too thick of a sweater under it. This is literally the perfect outfit for the weather today. I'm gonna be dry and warm, <laughs> okay? Also, I had my hair in a ponytail yesterday, slitch, so I kind of just like tried to recover it and I did a little bun. And then I'm wearing, honestly, just very chill jewelry. My nails are in serious need of help. I'm gonna paint them today. Cause you know the shit I kick, pimp and keep my pockets thick. On you funky shady bitches, having you hoes, clock on my bitches.